welcome to my first real GIMP tutorial. Um, today we're going to be discussing about black and white photos and how to add a slight amount of color to them. Your uh, a color of your choice, whatever. So basically, uh, today uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. So please enjoy the video. Thanks. All right. So to get going, I'm going to bring up my photo. This photo I took in my front yard. You can see the green, the yellow petals, and there's this darkish yellow, and then there's kind of some fogged up red bricks behind it. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this whole thing black and white, except for this these four little yellow um, little things right here. So, to start, I have this whole tool menu. Um, when I first started GIMP, I didn't realize a couple of things. I was watching some tutorials, and I didn't realize what this toolbar was right here. So, I finally figured it out by myself. Um, right across, when you first start out, you're going to see only one, and there's going to be no tabs. But right across from here, there's a little button, and you click that, hit Add Tabs, and I have Layers, Paths, and some other stuff. So right there. So that's that. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to grab what? It doesn't really matter. We're going to go over to the photo, right-click, go down to Colors, click desaturate okay wait wait uh, hold on hit cancel go back to the layer button and I forgot to duplicate it you gotta duplicate the layer alright so right here now uh, another thing I didn't realize before was whatever's on top like right here like I just switched them out um, you can basically whatever's on top you see so basically look at them like sheets of paper so one drawing on top one drawing beneath and what we're going to do is basically draw holes in the top paper so you can look down behind. So let's right click on here, colors, desaturate. Now there's a variety of them. Uh, this little pop up thing pops up. There's three there's lightness, which is this, luminosity, and average. I don't know if you can see that change a bit, um, but uh, it definitely helps. You can choose I any. I like luminosity because it kind of shows what's bright, bright, what is dark, is dark. So hit OK. Now, right click again, go down to layer, mask, add layer mask. Now, you want to make sure that white full opacity is selected. Click add, and there you go. The yeah, border turns green. And so, with this being on top, you're going to have, you're going to go grab your paintbrush. Well, let's zoom in first, so that would help. Let's go over here, zoom in. We're gonna just click wherever you want to zoom in. So right now, all you can see is the flower bud where I'm gonna be working. All right, so grab the paintbrush. Make sure it's black. Oh, black. Make sure it's black. And scale. Let's turn that up a little bit. Ten's good. We're gonna basically fill in the majority of it, and then we're gonna do the outer layer next. So I'm just gonna do this. Woo. Get as close to the edge without going over. So we're gonna have a little tiny brush and zoom in even more. Just a minute here. Right. So now let's go scale. Now I like about here. Yeah, here we'll do. Okay. So let's go here. Zoom in one more time. Click it. It's paintbrush. And basically just go along the edges. Now once in a while. If say you bump off course, somebody bumps you and you go like that, you want to make sure that and to redo that, if you don't want to redo it, what you can do, which I do a lot, is go over here, hit the switch button, and say so opposites of black, which black makes transparency was which is basically invisibility. You wanna there's white, and white does the exact opposite which black does, which is opacity. So click make sure you that oops, make sure that's selected. Go over here. And that all that does is just redo, just color the new layer on. And there you go. So then you hit that again, get back to black, and go back to there. You want to make sure you know your limits too. Um, see, like there, there's my limit. Another thing that I was, uh, another tip of the day, you want to make sure that you, uh, oops, keep doing that. Uh, want to make sure that your uh, you keep making clicks like see how I do little bits at a time because I learned that the hard way by doing a whole flower um, a different flower more detailed with a small tiny brush and 
I messed up and I didn't know about the opacity and I had to redo it all. I let go and I had to redo it all. So always make sure you take little things, little tiny brushes, brush strokes, and you want to go along the edge. Now, as you can see, it's not very professional because it looks like somebody just photoshopped it into it, which we did. And but we need to make it look like it's real. So I'm just gonna go along this edge right here and get all colors back to normal. Right, so that does look fake. So we're gonna go over to the smudge button, go along the edge and smudge it in. You can see what I'm doing, I'm just going along the edge. And now you can see this huge thick line. And ah, those are enemies. So what you want to do is go over and back. There you go. Three times. Doesn't really matter, as long as it looks nice enough to go. You know, nothing sticks out too much. Alright, and there you go. Fix that. Alright, so there's flower one. Um, so I'm gonna do that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into hyper mode and I am gonna do this really fast for you because that's the worst part of tutorials in my my mind but just waiting there sitting for them to do something so. As you can see, I've colored in all the little spaces of this. So, now that we're done, we still have one more step to do, and that is saving the, the image. So, what we're going to do is we're going to right click, go down to Layer, click Merge Down. That's going to merge the layers together. As if you noticed before, there were two layers right here and right here but now it merged it into one now we're gonna go down to image and we're gonna flatten the image um, now this takes out all the transparency so so it doesn't look so choppy so now we go up to file save as um, photo one now we're gonna save it and we're gonna do quality high and save now that's going to save that. All right, and that concludes our tutorial for today. Hope you all enjoy. Please comment and I will be accepting requests. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>